In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to connect PostgreSQL to NA10. You'll find that by following these steps, you'll have a secure connection between the two systems in no time. Let's dive into the process right from the N8N interface. The first task is to access the credentials section. When you're in the N8N interface, look over to the left sidebar. There, you'll find various options, and among them is the credentials section you'll need to access. This is where we will store the connection information securely, ensuring future operations run smoothly. Next, you'll want to create new credentials. With the Credentials section now open, look for the option that reads Create New. Clicking this will present you with several options for different types of credentials. Here, your task is to select Postgres as the credential type. This will enable N8N to identify and correctly manage your connection to a PostgreSQL database. Now that you've selected Postgres, it's time to enter your connection details. These details are essential for establishing a secure link, so you'll need to ensure you have all the required information at hand. Start by entering the host. This can be the PostgreSQL server's host name or an IP address. Depending on your setup, this might be a local host, often simply entered as localhost. Or if you're working with a cloud-based service, you'll need the relevant cloud-hosted IP address. After that, focus on the port. Typically, PostgreSQL uses the default port number 5432, so unless you've changed this setting, you can stick with the default. Next, you need to specify the database name. This should be the name of the specific database within your PostgreSQL server that NADN will connect to, and it's vital you get this correct for the linkage to work. Moving forward, you'll enter your username and password. These should be the credentials associated with your PostgreSQL database. Enter the username first, followed by the corresponding password. This digital handshake will grant N8N the necessary permissions to access your database. Make sure your input is accurate, as even a minor typo here could prevent the connection from succeeding. Lastly, there's the option to configure SSL or TLS if your connection requires an additional layer of security. If your server mandates a secured connection, Take a moment to adjust these settings accordingly, ensuring a safe and encrypted communication channel. With everything entered correctly, the final step is to save your credentials. You'll see the option to save pop up, and by clicking it, you'll securely store your Postgres school credentials within NAN. This simple yet crucial action completes the setup process ensuring that your connection details are both accessible for N8N to use and securely stored to prevent unauthorized access. There you have it, a straightforward, thorough process to quickly link PostgreSQL with N8N, paving the way for seamless data management and workflow automation. Thank you for following along, and I hope this tutorial has been helpful in expanding your automation toolkit.